welcome where have you been <laughs> also i have people who say i've been watching your vlogs for a long time but I, it had not hit me that i didn't subscribe pause this go hit subscribe actually we're trying to get to 30k by december so let's do it let's do it so I went to have a talk, and I think I had hinted on it. I went to have a talk with the ladies at NCBA Bank. If, first of all, this is my bank. Well, not to me, but the business. Eh, have I told you about the business? Okay, in the next vlog. But <laughs> I went to talk about uh, hacks for productivity with the ladies, and I thought I'd bring you along. So, yeah, these are the highlights. just honored to be part of this uh, great um, um, initiative and I said as I said earlier this is our initiative let's make it a success let's get involved let's participate let's own this initiative this is all about inspiring greatness in ourselves so that we can then inspire greatness to those around us this is about family this is about growing together we spend most of the day in NCBA as colleagues and I do believe that this then becomes our default family. So let's take care of each other. Let's be there for each other. Good morning, Anthony. Is he the only gentleman plus the guy on camera? <laughs> yeah, okay, well, good. lucky you guys. You will, you will get to see how um, ladies succeed when they come together. So welcome. And to the ladies, this is a fantastic initiative. I only got in to hear the last bits of why this was set up. But if I know anything to do with women, I know why it was set up. <laughs> it's not rocket science. I, I know you want to excel. I know you want to do better for yourselves and for others. And we all know that uh, there's um, success and power in numbers. Just like any career women, who, as you are, um, overwhelm is a word we know too much of. Exhaustion. I am tired. I think... How many times have you said I'm tired this month? <laughs> mm, yeah, uh, too many times. Actually, it becomes so easy off your tongue mm. that when someone says, "How eh, 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 I'm, I'm tired. tired. <laughs> but you never really unpack why you don't stop saying I'm tired. Again, like I said, I'm obsessive compulsive. I want things to be done well. And because obviously nobody can do it like you want it, you do it yourself. You know when people are always telling you, why don't you take time off, rest and all of that, but it never actually makes sense to you. You hear it, you know you should do it, <laughs> but you don't know how. I don't know, you want someone to spoon feed you the information, please sleep at 8 p.m. You know, someone needs to give you an actual template for you to actually relax. So that um, is what I'm here to share about, how I've found some sort of sanity. But can you get to a point where you don't have to compromise on who you are? Yes. Can you get to a point where you don't have to say, work can thrive, home doesn't have to. Or home can thrive, work doesn't have to. Yes, you can get to a place where both thrive. Mm -hmm. Don't look for the excellence of 100% everywhere. Just get a bit of happiness in all these places. And once there's some automation in your life where we see, because have, don't you ever, okay, for me, I see my former MD who is a lady, has children, is married, is running this whole entire business, and she's never annoyed. And I'm like, but how? Are, are you on weed? Do you drink alcohol in the office? How do you not snap at people? Like, because me, I don't have half of the things on your plate, and I'm mad. I'm going mad. And she's like, no, I just pick and choose. You know, the things I pick to do, the things I don't do. So I was listening to a podcast which gave me the actual hacks of productivity. And I've shared them before on my YouTube channel. It says automate, delegate, delete, and do. Of course, I'm going to help break them down. There's automate or automating your life. There's delegating. There's deleting, which for me was the most important one. And there is doing. Don't fix everything. Just fix the one most stressful thing. Once that's perfect, then you'll start to see the other gaps that need it. The one thing in my life that I fixed first, it's by the way, it's so small. <laughs> no? Meal plan. <laughs> the ladies are laughing, but that's it. A menu. You guys, it sounds like nothing, but just not being at work at 11 and like, oh, well, we eat rice. <laughs> but what does now rice go with? Peas. Mm -mm, no. But then you start going on Pinterest. Rice, meals. 
Then shopping. I was shopping every day. Why? Because I'm shocking myself with what to eat today. Mm -hmm. Then I'm like, hey, but now I don't have what I'm supposed to. Okay, let me go by the grocery store. I'm wasting my own time. Mm -hmm. Then in all of that, I'm wasting money. Mm -hmm. When you impulse shop, ladies, we know this. Yeah. The bag is nice, but you know what? YOLO, you'll only live once. <laughs> let me get the bag. <laughs> you know, before you know it, I really didn't need to spend that 100k. I really did because I, now I need it and I don't have it. And then you can't really hold the bag and say, it's okay, you'll fix my problems. <laughs> if, if you say, I was going to call so-and-so to do this and you give it to Sandra, you need to really trust her. You understand? Because you would have done it yourself and you know how you would have done it. For me, my issue was that if me, I, I really don't sleep. So at 5 a.m. I'm sending my team messages and I'm annoyed that by 6.30 they didn't reply. Mm. I've delegated... But I want people to do things to my level. Impossible. You have a child, you're breastfeeding, that's why you don't sleep. That's not their problem. <laughs> you see what I mean? Now I'm making it their problem. If me, I can't sleep, you are you sleeping. But, but, no. They will work, you understand? But you need to, when you delegate, you, you need to just let go. You understand? Please schedule that meeting for me and then walk away. Don't keep every 30 minutes. But did you really schedule that meeting or you're just there? You know, so I, I learned how to delegate and I learned how to let them do it. You know, because that's the problem I had. I was delegating but following up every other time, which was still, again, not a good use of my time. Now, deleting, which is my favorite. You delete things and you delete people. It's, it's hard. It's not the Jesus way to do things or Allah, but you've got to delete people, honestly. Yesterday, I was really overwhelmed with the situation and I called one of my friends and I'm really complaining on the phone. She said, this is the second time this week you're calling me about people's problems. Stop being superwoman. Yeah. She said, you who told you you can fix everything? Why do you go into relationships wanting to fix everything? You understand? She said, now you've just wasted your money trying to fix something. Really? That's all you wanted to do? You want to be superwoman this morning? I said, okay, that's the truth. I need to delete some people. What happened is that I had taken on so much work and only 30% was work that actually pays me. The other humongous percentage was me fixing so-and-so's business, was me fixing so-and-so's brand, was me helping this one, was me pro bono doing work here. But you understand? And I'm overwhelmed, but it's not even for me. It's not going to show up in my pockets. Do you understand? And however much I want to do a bit of CSR, that is not a bit of CSR. That's a lot of CSR. Do you see what I mean? So I started by deleting. And deleting also means when people call you and say, Ramla, can you help me here and here and here and here? You already know the answer is no. Because as far as you're concerned, you have a lot on your plate. However juicy this is going to sound as an opportunity, you don't have the time to do it. So me, I actually, what I do now is that I rehearse my no ahead of time. I don't know who will call me today, for example, to do something I'm not going to be available for. But I've already rehearsed the answer. I say if it's a work opportunity and it's a client, this is my response. If it is a friend who needs me, this is my response. If it is a friend who needs emotional help, this is my answer. Like, I have my answers. You call, I listen to your proposal. I say, okay. Thank you so much for, you know, uh, if it's a, thank you for reaching me. For now, we're only available for December. <laughs> because it's the truth. Do you see what I mean? Yes. I, that, I can't. I cannot take on anymore because deleting is painful. Mm. <laughs> so I'd rather not add you in the first mm. place. Do you see what I mean? I'd rather not take on more than I should in the first place. I used to be the career woman who thought that being busy was being productive. A lie. A big lie. I can be the person who comes to work on time. In fact, I get in before everyone, I leave after everyone. But I'm the most unproductive. True. Do you see what I mean? Yes. I can be the person who never leaves my desk, is always looking to my computer, but I'm the most unproductive. Mm. Do you see what I mean? We used to have discussion groups at university. And, you know, you're like 10. But you know only three are doing the work. <laughs> Do you see what I, only three chaps in that entire group. There's a girl who looks nice so far, the guys just say, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, you've come to earn your marks for you, you look nice, you know. Then there's the really smart guys. 
who are very OCD about their work. They want things done in a certain way. Those ones you say, oh, let them discuss. We'll just listen, okay? Then there's the ones who just really know, they don't know how to think, but when it comes to putting down things and uh, being aggressive, being hands-on, they're there. Mm. So everyone in the group had something to do. So you realize that not everybody is actually productive because they showed up. Do you see what I mean? So you've got to understand that. So when you're deleting things, delete things that are making you look very busy, but not productive. So even you, you come to work every day, you see NCBA, you know your tasks for the day, then you start being busy. Sweet, sweet, you're coming from this corner of the office to the other corner. They're like, but she's working. Hmm? No one is more hardworking than that. And then what happens to when Anthony is looking at KPIs, Anthony says, but you're not working. You're like, after I've sacrificed myself for this company, <laughs> hmm? after I've given my all, you understand? So you've automated, you've deleted, you've delegated, you need to do. It's a to-do list after all, guys. You need to do certain things. But like we've spoken about a good use of your time, you need to pick the most important thing for you. So rather than choose a Zoom at six when I get home, maybe let me choose to play with my child. Mm -hmm. Do not give me work because I don't want to be holding my son in one hand and I'm trying to man the phone on the other hand saying, hold on, he's just disturbing me. But no, he's not. He's the one who needs and deserves the time. You know, so I had to put my priorities straight and I said, when I'm at work, I do work stuff. When I am home, I do home stuff. Even something as small as you're in the supermarket, in the aisles shopping, but you're the one trying to listen to something, you're the one trying to do many, no, be in the supermarket. You'll actually take less time when you do what you know you're supposed to be doing there. You know, because I used to be the person, I'd, I'd enter with earphones on, listen to a podcast, now it has stopped, now you have to pause it, now you have to stop. Before you know it, I've done an hour in a supermarket for five items. Mm. Because I didn't, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing at that time. I'm doing six other things. So part of doing yes is to know what you're supposed to do. But secondly, only do that. As in, you know, when you're showering, only shower. Please don't shower and then first stop in the shower and start saying, yeah, that guy said something weird. Why did he, why do you think he said that? Oh, why am I needing? Yeah. I'm like, why are you trying to fix things now? Just shower and get out of the shower. Do you see what I mean? So you, you don't waste time, you understand? And you also get things done. Those are the most important things you should do for yourself right now. They're working for me slowly, of course. <laughs> I make mistakes sometimes because I'm human. I will do too much in a day and get tired or I will forget to do some things and push them to the next day because again, I'm human. Maybe I was tired yesterday, so I couldn't do that. So I'm doing it the next day. So part of productivity is also to forgive yourself. As women, we're emotional. Mm -hmm. Me, when I meet a woman who says, me, I don't, I'm not emotional about things. I'm like, oh, you're lying. If you don't bring your emotions to work, you take them home. If you don't bring them home, you take them to work. You notice some people, their partners will tell you they're so efficient, they're so good, they don't complain. But at work, you're like, she doesn't complain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are we talking about the same chick? Please. She's always here. Comp exactly. Because let's allow it. We're emotional beings. Mm -hmm. and, and when you fight it, you're going to take it where it's not needed. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, so when you're with the family and you're with home and things have overwhelmed you, allow the emotions there to stay there. So that when you come to work, you don't transfer. The emotions it will kill your productivity it has done it for me where i carry the stress from home to work mm -hmm. and i blame everyone at work mm -hmm. so now before you know it i don't want to work with you i don't want to do this i don't i've lost a day because i transferred emotions mm -hmm. you understand yeah you love but you we trans but now chicks we transfer <laughs> right. you know you get angry because you're out of the md's office he said something you really don't like and the person you sit next to will know that's the day they will get to know their true Flavia. Yeah. You know, even, even pat yourself on the back, you will see me. But because you're transferring, you know, so deal with things when they come and, and just tell yourself, okay, you know what? Ramla has pissed me off. It's okay. We'll deal with it. Um, don't start being the strong person who's like, no, 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 no. I've got this. Me, I'm busy. I don't, you know, the good thing about being busy is that you don't get to deal with these small things. No, you're lying. You're lying. Mm. Say, you know what? This has hurt me. This is not how I would have wanted it to go. Uh, but it's okay, we'll come back to it. 
You see, because you've acknowledged it, it won't transfer elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And so let's let's be productive, ladies. So Flavia, we can't thank you enough. Thank you. And uh, we'll be we'll be having this, I think, on a quarterly basis. We'll let you know what our plans are. But for sure, we want to keep the fire burning. Yes. We want to uh, maintain this momentum and discuss very different uh, topics along the way. Mm -hmm.